The most awaited Procreate Dreams beta version is here, so let's dive right in. This is from the perspective of a 2D animator. Tap on this plus icon to get the flipbook option. Okay, so yay, they finally added the selection and transform tools. And let's test it out for the simple eye animation. I can use the select tool and fill up the lashes and eye colors. Wow, the color drop is amazing as well. It works faster and better. No lag, no outlines showing, nothing like the first release, nailed it. Tap and hold a keyframe to duplicate and now in order to give a squash and stretch effect, tap transform at the top and choose the kind of transformation your animation requires. I'm using freeform here just to stretch and squash the eye from the top and bottom positions. You can experiment with other options according to your project. Okay, great. They also have added a lot of new brushes with the brush engine and you can adjust the brush stabilization simply by tapping it. My favorite line art brush has to be this moray brush under outline. The strokes are pixel perfect even after zooming in. This is great. You can use the pinch gesture in the brush panel to access other brushes you have. I also use studio pen for coloring other bits and pieces and won't be switching anytime soon. They have also added the brush size and opacity memory which is perfect for outline stage of projects. Within Flipbook 2, you can add clipping masks and you can see how easy it's to color and add shadows, highlights, etc. You can even hide and unhide a track by tapping here. To delete a track inside Flipbook, tap and hold any frame, choose track options and select delete track. Now in order to get the next eye, we have to duplicate this animation. So tap on Flipbook at the top, choose finish drawing to exit Flipbook mode. Tap and hold the flipbook until you get these options. Select track options and duplicate over here at the top. Tap keyframe at the bottom and a box like this appears with three dots in the corner. And here we will choose flip horizontal. If the box disappears, tap on this playhead again and you'll see it. Move it around and place it where you want. It doesn't have an aligning feature yet, so just eyeball it. Now drawing in flipbook mode is super interesting. You can insert a frame with this plus icon. Add a new track with this icon. You can even move around this track. And this is the group button, which I got to know after a long time. But you can only select the tracks that are currently visible. You cannot slide it to the right or left to move it up and down. If you tap on a frame twice, you will see these handles to drag the frame duration for as long as you want. And this is nice and customizable. There is a flip frames option. Let's check it with this head turn. It can only be used in the group mode. So we select this and this is what happens. You might have to adjust the timing of your frames a bit if you decide to flip the frames. You can change onion skin in the flipbook mode by tapping on settings here at the top and tap onions. It's customizable and I'm happy with this. You can hold and extend keyframes inside, duplicate, copy and paste. I'm using it on an older iPad Pro, the 2020 model, and it works well. There is no quick shape function here, but guys, Procreate wants to make you a better artist. So keep practicing until you get those lines straight and circles looking perfect. To be honest, learning animation, my teachers always told me to focus on my fundamental drawing skills. You might say, oh, Clip Studio is so much better than this. Well, I think for a one-time fee, dreams cannot be ignored. I mean, after Toon Squid, obviously. You can adjust the timeline height like this, which gives so much drawing space now, yay. The theater button takes you back to your projects. Uh, this icon is for project settings, and you can change the FPS, duration, resolution, and more from here. The stage option allows you to make your background transparent or even choose background color of your choice. You can even select onion skin visibility over here. If you want a faster workflow, use keyboard shortcuts given in prefs or even customized ones. Drawing mode is funny because since I have the flip book now, I don't think I will go back to that. But, and this is a big but, you can edit the timing of frames inside the flip book mode but not in the timeline after you exit it. Now in that case, you have to tap and hold the flipbook track and choose convert flipbook to tracks. And now it creates a group and you can go in and review your frames. Export settings are amazing. 
Now you can export PNG sequences and they will be stored in a folder in your files app perfectly. I haven't tried exporting GIFs yet but do check my Instagram for further updates. Nothing has changed for the perform and keyframe mode except they've moved these options from the timeline here to the bottom. These are my older files and I use the pan here and it works well. I don't use it a lot to be honest so it doesn't matter. Uh, compose mode I think is for adding extra effects over your tracks. Uh, SFX and other transform options like scale, rotate, pan, scenes and bringing the whole piece together. You can always watch me animate live on Twitch and ask me any questions you have about animation and art in general there too. Thank you so much for 7000 subs. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. Bye!